Welcome back to the Last Stop Watch Channel. I'm Bryant. So today what I've got is an old Baylor dive watch. Baylor was one of the brands that was sold under the Zales company. And this, I believe, is from the 70s, early to mid 70s. But if you can see right here, the loom is starting to come off of the hands. As a matter of fact, it has come off of the minute hand. So my goal today is to take some of this watch loom, which comes in two parts, a powder and a glue substance or a paint substance. And we're going to remove the hands place the hands on these sticks and paint them with more loom. But step one, I've got to go expose this to some light while we work on the rest of this. So let me just, not sure how much I'm going to use there, but that's probably enough. I'm going to go stick this in the windowsill and I'll be right back. All right. So our next part, so we've got to take the watch apart so I can get to the hands. The easiest way for me to do this is to back the time up to midnight so that I know where everything is. We can remove the case back. This is one of my eBay finds. Paid about $67 for it. As you can see, that's broken, but I've got another one of those I can replace it with. And that's what this watch looks like on the inside. It's very pretty. I've been playing around with this watch for a while and testing it to make sure it keeps good time. And the only issue I've had is has been the loom falling off so we're gonna go in here and I believe it's this screw right here Maybe. Let's see. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's not the right screw. So the trick was there's a little pin right there that does it. And after that's out. There we have it. There's our movement. I am going to stick the crown back in. So now that we've got the crown back in, I'm going to turn it back to midnight. I'm going to use our piece of plastic. I'm going to put our hand puller down. 
There's our second hand, a minute hand. And there's our hour hand. That traveled along with our plastic. Now, we're done with this part for now. So we'll put him there. And we'll bring out our hands. Now, as you see, there's a silver side and a white side. We'll be flipping these around to the silver side as the white side is the side that will be forward facing is what you see when the watch is there when the watch is put back together so what i'm going to do is take these and i'm going to scrape the loom out the best i can I'm going to put these, make sure this little guy looks like he's still got some more loom. And their little paint stands here. Then I'm going to go check on the other loom and I'll be right back. There's our loom, and you can't really tell it from here, but that is glowing in the dark really brightly, so that's good. That's exactly what we want. And we're going to mix it with this stuff here, which is the, the glue setting agent, I guess is what you would call it. And see if we can get a... Good paste like consistency, they said you would need. That looks a little too watery. So we'll just I've never ever done this before, so I may be doing it completely wrong. Let's see, give it a little, oh yeah, look at that, now all we have to do is let it dry, and uh, we'll come back and check it. Alright, well it's been 24 hours and our watch hands are dry so the next step is to put our movement back in position but what i want to do first is 
So I want to rotate around until we get to midnight again. Just to make sure. There we go. Now that we're at midnight. We can begin to put everything back together. Start with the hour hand. Lined up just so. Now the minute hand. Trying to be as delicate as possible here. I don't want to scratch the loom or the watch face. There we go. Just checking here to make sure that the hands aren't touching each other. And onto the second hand. Which is a slippery little fella, so see if we can't just get him on there with a piece of erotica.
This is one of my absolute favorite watches. All right, now we just need to test to make sure that the hands aren't scratching the watch, aren't hitting each other, and I can see right there the second hand needs to be manipulated just a bit. I can see that the second hand is touching the minute hand. We're going to kind of start over on this. I need to check these hands. Let the second hand get back up to 12. <clears throat> there it bounce. All right. Movement aside, let's check. This fella has a little bit more of the loom. I would like so let's see if we can gently there we go I just had to take off just the tiniest little bit of loom off the end there which won't be seen from the front Just ever so slightly. Straightening out the hands. All right, let's give this another go. This fellow situated, our hand situated on the twelve there. Check him for a mostly horizontal layout. Go to our minutes hand. me learning how to do all this stuff it's all about trial and error and I assume that as I get better and learn more 
that my techniques will improve. So just checking here. Very close. To one another, but I don't believe that they're touching. Let's try to get this second hand into place. Now our second hand seems to be clearing the hurdle there. Just make another revolution to get us to AM. And go around again. That seems to be good. Check the face for any bits of dust. There we go. Now, it's time to remove the crown. Put the watch in our movement holder.
Okay, so apparently I stopped the video accidentally. Um, I've got the watch back in its case. It's winding. The time is able to be set, and it does not appear that any of the hands are sticking on each other. All I'm doing now, after replacing our broken gasket from yesterday, is putting the case back on. And there we go. Now the loom that I got is supposed to match what's already there. So we're going to do a little test to see how well that did. Ooh, it's a lot brighter than the rest of the watch loom, but I'm very satisfied with the outcome. I may have to go back and loom the rest of the dial, but it does match. So there you go. That's my first attempt at putting loom on watch hands. I thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is the Last Stop Watch channel. I'm Bryant. Thank you and have a great day.